right, Dressage fans. Last week, we did a video of Susan Jacoma having some issues with her horse in the pre-St. George with its tongue hanging out at the side of the mouth and some questionable blue tongue action. And what I discovered was we have a lot of Susan Jacoma fans that follow our YouTube channel. And a lot of people responded to me saying she's a light-handed classicist. I'm not even sure that's a word, but as many of you know, I actually had the opportunity to train and ride with Susan Jacoma for about 18 months. So I wanted to show you one of the tips and tricks that I learned while riding with Susan Jacoma in how to become light-handed and still have a submissive horse when you're dealing with a hot horse in as many of these upper level horses are. This was one of the tips and tricks that I learned while I was riding with Susan Jacoma. Now, you are going to need a cabasson, regular old cabasson. You are going to need a curb chain. You can pick these up at any store for about $10 and some electrical tape. So the first thing that you're going to do is you want to attach one end of the curb chain and you want to kind of center the curb chain over the nose for your horse. So once you get it kind of centered, you're going to attach one end of the curb chain to the cabasson using your electrical tape. Now the key here is to use electrical tape. That way when somebody's walking by or drives by on the road, it actually just looks like the cabasson. Tips and tricks. So if you're at a private barn, maybe not electrical tape, but it's easy to come off um, and it kind of looks like the bridle. Once you have one side of this chain fastened, you are going to decide how harsh you want this chain to be and how ultimately submissive you want your horse to be. Now, this chain will work if you keep it flat among the horse's nose, okay? So horses, if you look at some of the charts and diagrams on their noses, um, their olfactory senses are on their nose and, and this is actually one of the most sensitive areas. So just by leaving the chain flat, as you can see in this here, it will work. Now, if you want your horse to be extra super submissive, you're gonna add a couple of twists to this chain. So we're just gonna do that and what you see here is I'm gonna fasten the other end of this chain but what you can see is how rough and bumpy that is going to be against your horse's nose. So I'm just gonna fasten the other side of this curb chain. Now that you have both sides of this curb chain fastened with the amount of severity that you want in the nose band, you're actually going to cover up the rest of it just to provide um, some stability for the chain so it stays under the nose band. And now remember again, once it's under there, you're going to actually do the nose band up super, super tight so that the horse is submissive the entire time you're riding and you shouldn't have to use much of the reins. So I'm going to cover this entire thing up and show you what it looks like. All right, so from the front, this just looks like an entirely, you know, those bend maybe that needs repairs if you're looking close up, but from afar, you're actually not going to see that this nose band is any different than any other nose band that people would ride with. But underneath, if you look at how bumpy and rough that is, that is where your submission comes from. Now, personally, I have actually never used this on a horse, and whether you want to or not is entirely your choice. But I do know that a lot of people were talking about uh, keeping it light-handed and submissive, so I wanted to share this trick with you because I learned it from Susan Jacoma and nobody else in 30 years of riding horses has ever shown me this trick. So it's up to you whether you want, you want to use this or not, but be careful, know that your horse's nose is sensitive.